Welcome back. It's day 684. It's growing. Everything's fine by Joshua Tree standards. As is often mentioned in the literature, these things grow at 3 inches a year. That's 7.5, 7.6 centimeters. That's an average, of course, but I assume they take these statistics from a vast number of Joshua trees in the Mojave Desert, um, high deserts of California. So it's day 712. You know, there's no point in staring at the same thing that you've seen all this time for very long per day. So I cut out the watering footage. Uh, it seems to be developing something that barely resembles a trunk, sort of like a, you know, the base of a palm tree or some kind of uh, plant like that. So on day 768, I'm watering yet again. Um, I don't need to water that often. It's not like the passion fruit vine or the Sri Nanny where, you know, it needs water almost every day or every other day at the, the very least. Um, this you can just water and if the watering tray fills up in this pot and, you know, it reaches capacity, I can just let it sit there for a week, maybe even two weeks. It doesn't have much evaporation. It's a very high desert dry climate adapted plant. You can see it's grown uh, a significant amount by Joshua Tree standards, although it's still far away from having a trunk. The blades are getting longer. I poke myself on these things all the time because the passion fruit vines constantly trying to body splash this thing and send their tendrils around to coil that thing. And when I'm filming, you know, I, I poke myself too. So there's nothing in that watering tray that I can see. It's not like the other plants, uh, you know, annuals and the perennials that just have uh, roots directly down there drinking water. Although I thought the Joshua tree would be prone to do that. It's often mentioned that Joshua trees have delicate roots that are shallow, so you can't go to Joshua Tree National Park and hang a hammock on them and lie on the ones that are tilted over and growing on the ground you know sideways or upside down uh, people do that a lot uh, there are people that try to go on social media and you know educate these people but you know there's always going to be new visitors doing the same thing so I have uh, patches of miracle Grow I scooped out of a container this is the vegetative growth kind and uh, it's been noted before that fertilizer is perhaps more important than an abundance of water but I'm sure you know having a lot of water can't hurt. This has been my longest standing plant growing series and I intend to keep it that way. If there was just one plant I could keep out of the bunch it would be my Joshua tree here. So please look for me on Facebook and Instagram just look up Melvin Way YouTube channel and look up my name on Instagram it has uh, these short clips of local flora and fauna. I think I'll put a lot of the Joshua Tree National Park stuff footage that I get there instead of on my YouTube channel. Alright, thanks for watching.